And that is part one done. Oh, we got mail. Hold on. So by I've lost her. Oh my god. Okay. Who's responsible for creating a Twitter account for Monica? I think it's hilarious, but for God's sake, don't tell Paula. <laughs> it would get 404 in a microsecond. Are you just relaying her tweets manually, or did you code some kind of pass-through layer to automate it? Based on the contents of the tweets, example, not screaming for help, I assume they're coming from the control simulation. Wait, I think... Hold on. Oh, wait, no. Stop. Stop, Rikakis. Hold on. I swear there is an actual Twitter account. Oh, where was it? It was like Monica or something, wasn't it? No, I can't find it. I swear I did actually see a bot. Uh, not a bot, an actual... Um, Ting Twitter account before. So that's actually kind of funny that it mentions it here. I wonder if that's the exact one they're talking about as well. Right, anyway. Sorry, uh, let me stop delaying and let me actually get into the next part. So, reflection part two. If my voice can keep up, we'll keep going. A new day arrives. Sayori arrives at the club room earlier than usual. That is not late. As she enters, it appears to be still empty. So she sits down at the desk and pulls out a sheet of paper primed to jot down her thoughts. Sayori has made a bit of a habit of scribbling her thoughts and feelings onto paper when, when, yeah, Jesus, whenever possible, as it tends to serve as her best inspiration for poetry. My heart feels vacant because the ship sailed away. Yo. Ah! Natsuki? Natsuki pokes her head out from behind the closet door. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. It would have been a lot more awkward if I didn't say anything. I doubt you want me listening in on your poetry thing. Yeah, thanks for realizing that. Should I let you finish that up then? Oh uh, no, I wasn't. I mean, I just do it whenever it's convenient. You're not interrupting. Where's Monica, by the way? Oh, she's out in the hallway. Huh? Why? Well, just in case she runs into Yuri. Sometimes Yuri is too nervous to come into the club room by herself, so... Oh. Jeez, did Yuri really let things bother her for that long? She can't control her feelings. For some people, it's really hard to cope when you get a bad thought in your head. Maybe you can distract yourself for a little while, but as soon as it's just you and your thoughts again, it comes back. Mm. Um, I just want us to have a normal club meeting. It's a lot easier to pretend like it never happened if we all just ignore it and move on. I don't want to be bothered by this. It's so stupid. Her opinion to me doesn't matter anyway. Besides, it makes me feel really guilty and I hate that too. It's okay to have feelings. It doesn't make you weak. Let's figure this out together. Fine. Only because you're good at this stuff. Let's try to come up with a happy scene. Maybe that will help us understand where your bad feelings are coming from. Well, I was happy the way things were before we had to have that conversation yesterday. What part of the conversation made you upset? Was it Yuri being mean about the manga? Maybe. I doubt it though. Because my friends and other people make fun of manga all the time, but I just brush it off and ignore them. But something about it really got to me this time. I hate that I'm letting that happen. Is it because it came from Yuri? No? Why would that matter? I mean, well, maybe. I just, I hate that she thinks she's so much better than me. Just because she likes to pretend to be all sophisticated. Yeah, that's what it is. And these other people decide that they don't like me or manga or whatever. But Yuri acts like she's too good to even give it a chance. I'm sorry. Everyone deserves a chance. Yeah, exactly. Would you give Yuri's book a chance? Huh, after this? Obviously not. And what about before this? Well, I would until I got bored, which wouldn't take very long. But if you actually keep an open mind, then it's not hard to realize that a story can be deep and meaningful without being needlessly complicated. I see. But you know, I like Yuri's books too. Yeah, but you like manga more, right? So Yuri shakes her head. I like them both. I like them in different ways, but I like them both. I mean, the manga, it's really honest and fun and easy to just let go with. And the fantasy is a lot to interpret and uncover, and it's really rewarding to have some good quiet time together with it. But the most important thing about both of them, well, that both manga and fantasy are true to themselves. So I love them both. And I think there's room for both of them to be in the same club together. And I just feel like maybe, maybe they have more in common than you would think. Oh my god, why do I have to hiccup in the middle of a recording? How do you get along with everyone so well? I always get into fights with people. Like first it was with Monica when I was new to the club. Then it was with you, and now it's Yuri. And I'm like, oh, that person is being such a jerk, and if they just realized that, then we could at least get along. But nobody else has this problem. I just keep running away from the reality that everyone's just a jerk to me because nobody likes me. And I don't know why, and I don't know what to do about that. I don't know what's wrong with me. I hate it. Natsuki? Sayori so puts a comforting hand on Natsuki's shoulder. Natsuki. 
Nobody cares. You're a wonderful person. You deserve to be loved as much as everyone else. Everyone has different ways they like to communicate, you know? And sometimes that makes it harder for us to understand each other. I think that sometimes, sometimes we get lucky and we make friends who are really good at the same kinds of communication. And it feels like you magically connect with them. But other times, even both people are really nice, it's easy for them to misunderstand each other or to get the communication wrong. It's something that Yuri struggles a lot with too. It can be really hard. It takes a lot of reflection and self-awareness. And vulnerability. I'm bad at that one. Vulnerability. I always have to be the strongest. What do you mean? Tell me about that part of you. Well, it sounds stupid, but I'm really used to people being mean to me. Like my friends and I guess my dad. Like when I don't get good grades or even stupid things like if my room isn't clean. So what am I gonna do, cry about it? If I let myself get upset, then it's just letting them win. I'm better than that. I'm better than all of them. So things always have to be everyone else's fault. It feels like if something goes wrong and there's even a tiny hint that it might be my fault, then I just get really angry and I find ways to blame everything else instead. Do you see yourself better than Yuri? If I said that, then I would just sound really full of myself. No, our thoughts and our feelings are two different things. Even if we don't like our feelings, we have to understand them if we want to learn more about themselves. That's a part of vulnerability, you know? Accepting that we have feelings that we don't like. I... I hate it. My feelings make me a bad person. Because my feelings just want to tell me that I'm so much better than her. That she's a judgmental know-it-all who's stuck in her edgy phase and that I'm just way above that garbage. But I'm terrible for feeling that way. You're not terrible. You are not your feelings. But you are not your feelings. Say that to yourself out loud. Fine. I am not my feelings. The way that I like to picture it is that those feelings are like your roommate. If you live in the same house, you gotta see each other every day. And even if you can ignore each other most of the time, you're gonna run into each other every now and then. And it's gonna make you feel like poo. So the other option is to get to know each other. You can communicate and learn from each other and maybe even help each other change for the better. Does that help you understand? How do you know so much about this stuff? I just have a roommate that can be really hard to get along with. Jesus. Called depression. Depression? But like, you're like the happiest person I know. I am not my feelings. I want to be a good person like you. Aw, you little sweetheart. We're all good people. You and Yuri and Monica. And I think Yuri will eventually learn that about you. If I'm being real, I didn't even think that, like, say Yuri was going to straight up just say I have depression to Natsuki as well. Natsuki remained silent, feeling a little overwhelmed. Despite Sayuri's kind reassurance, a complicated mixture of pain and sadness seems to fill her, as though flowing from a wound inside her. Was it a result of her vulnerability? No.